Hey guys, welcome back to another med school vlog. It's now almost the end of summer and I'll be entering my second year of medical school at Columbia in less than a week. But before then, I wanted to show you guys what a fun couple of weeks in the life of a first year med student look like for me. We're gonna flash all the way back to February when we had our med school prom. The theme was cosmic soiree. I didn't really dress in the theme, but I was able to rewear the prom dress that I wore for high school prom, so that is a plus. I always think it's so fun to see our class together, dressed to the nines and out of the classroom, out of scrubs, and really just enjoying themselves. Today we are doing something new for Coffee House. Coffee House is our sort of monthly slash like every two months we have this performance where a bunch of med students, like dental students, grad students come and perform. And so usually PK, the awesome PK is the person who like films everything. Today I have this magic camera that will make everything look amazing so i am responsible for filming and yeah it's gonna be fun Flash forward a few days after Coffee House, it's time for the med school music video filming. So here is a get ready with me. I'll be sharing some updates on what we've been doing and learning before heading off to film the big dance scene. Okay, so before this, I already washed my face, put on sunscreen, and now I'm just gonna put on some foundation. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to talk about everything that's been going on because a lot has been going on. Second semester now is organ systems based. So we sort of start with neurology, then we moved on to a couple of weeks of hematology, and after that is cardiology. But before cardio, we actually do have to finish our exams for neuro and heme, which is coming up next week. I don't have too much time to study because um, I'm actually going on a conference this weekend. It's for the Asian Pacific American Medical Student Association, or APAMSA. We're going to Portland, Oregon. We're leaving Friday, whole day of conference on Saturday. And then we have our flight back on Sunday. So yeah, all that's to say, um, we don't have too much time for studying that weekend. So we gotta get all of our studying in before then. It's been a good time in our doctoring course too. We're learning about like conflicts of interest. We're learning about physical examinations. I can't believe I'm like that. I didn't remember that part first because this semester we're learning how to do the neurological exam. So the eye exam, the cranial nerve exam, and we're in a group of four people. So it's me, Athena, Isaac, and Arinze. And we went up to the Allen, um, interviewed our patient, pr practiced our physical exam and then report it back to the attending afterwards. Yeah, so recently it's been a lot of studying also. We are learning psychiatric medicine in the New York State Psychiatric Institute, which is right next to our school. We interview patients in pairs, and then we debrief after, talk about what we think the diagnosis is, what we did well, what could have gone better, etc. So I am going to get ready to head over. We're in blue scrubs because that is what is requested of us to be camouflaged with, with each other in the entire dance scene. Yeah, it's gonna be super fun to see everyone just together and having fun in the middle of studying and right before exam period. So I'm gonna get ready, finish getting dressed, and I will see you guys there. Okay, peace. Our first rehearsal was taking place in this building called 50 Haven. So we're in the ballroom here and we're basically just learning from Brie and Katie, who are the choreographers for this, the steps for the big dance scene. And I have to give a huge shout out to everyone on the music video team, whether it be directing, filming, casting. It's such an amazing beat because our classmates who are running this are full-time med students and doing this for our class on the side. Okay, we just finished practicing in the 50 Haven Ballroom 
And now apparently we're going to go on the grass over there to to film the actual one. <laughs> and this part was super fun. We were basically dancing, singing, just bringing the energy and lip syncing to some of the lyrics that our classmates wrote. And then we filmed the last section on the staircase here where we did, again, joint choreography. If you guys want to see the final product, I'm going to link it down below so you can feel free to check that out. All right, we just finished with the music video filming. I changed into my professional clothes and uh, my white coat because I'm gonna grab a quick lunch now. And right after, I'm going to go to my bedside session at Choney, which is the Children's Hospital of New York. This is from Cozy Fresh, our go-to salad place. Chicken, mozzarella cheese, Just the bowl is like 10, 11, it's like 11 something. It's very good. All right, I made it to Choni. I made it to the hospital. I'm going to go find my preceptor now. And you can see it's very pretty in here. There's very cute designs. I think they always have that in, in areas where children are being seen. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Just got out of Pete's bedside session. Athena and I were in charge of interviewing the family of a baby with bronchiolitis. The second patient that the other group saw was um, a girl with complications from the flu. And now I'm in the VEC, I'm gonna study a little bit and then I have to go home and shower, definitely when you're coming back from the hospital. And uh, yeah, tonight's the surprise for Sasha and Jalen. So it's a couple days later, I'm back in my room now and I just wanted to film a little bit of a reflection on my peds bedside session and give you a look into what is to come. So today we did not have classes in the morning. Also my hair is wet because I just took a shower, but we did not have classes in the morning because this is sort of like our study week for exams next week for neurology, hematology, um, psychiatry, evidence-based medicine, and we also have our physical exam. So we're gonna have standardized patients. We're gonna go in, take their history, do a physical exam on them, and it's gonna be on neurology. So that was a little bit of a tangent, but going back to pediatric bedsides, I really enjoyed peds. I did have a couple of like shadowing opportunities last semester in peds, and it was always really fun to go in and see the kids and their families and the residents there and attendings also. Um, and this time, it was a really good experience being the person talking to the families, doing the physical exam on the baby, and just having this hands-on experience that makes you feel like you're adding something to the team and to medicine. From each bedside session, we do have to write an admissions note. So sort of pretending that you're the one taking the history of the patient when they're just coming into the hospital. There's so many abbreviations in medicine. Um, for example, like VSS is vital sign stable and I wouldn't have known that if I didn't look it up on Google. And so there's a lot, it's like a whole new language, I think when you're writing an admissions note. And we basically start from the chief complaint, we give the history of the present illness, which is basically like the history of why this person, this patient is coming into the hospital. Um, do like re review of systems, which is what we get from asking questions to the patient. Then we write down our physical exam observations, which is what we get when we physically examine the patient. And then we do like a whole assessment, which is like treatment plans and basically like further workups or further steps needed to be taken to take care of the patient. 
After coming back from bedsides, we had a clinical correlate session, which is where M4s come in, or fourth year medical students come in, sort of lead us through a case example of a patient and we have to figure out what the diagnosis is and what the further steps are. That's always very helpful and I think especially because fourth year med students are pretty close to where we are but are exponentially I think more knowledgeable in what happens in, in about what happens in the hospital and in clinical things that it's a very good way to learn the most important points for the wards and also sort of be able to ask for mentorship and guidance from someone just a few years older. And I'm sort of jumping back and forth here, but we also did have a suturing workshop. We have these a couple times a semester hosted by different clubs on campus. So this was by the Whipple Surgical Society. We had a resident and a fourth year medical student applying into general surgery come in and teach us how to suture on fake skin. It was like waxy, sort of like silicone -y material. I'm not exactly sure but it was a good way to just get us familiar with the tools and like the knot tying procedures. And yeah, I think my knots were a little bit iffy, but good thing we do have a lot more practice opportunities in the future. So right now I'm about to head to our Foundations of Clinical Medicine seminar. Today we are gonna be talking about working with interpreters in the medical field. So we do have to wear our white coats. We're gonna go, um, have like a lecture first and then a student-led discussion and then afterwards i'm gonna go to the gym for the first time in forever and i hope that this sort of cures my cervical spine pain because um i think sitting too long and just looking at the computer is not the best for you so i'm gonna go and afterwards hopefully that'll give me more focus for the rest of the day because there's a lot going on before exam week but we will get through this together and it's just a step in the process of medical school of becoming a doctor so i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below i'm happy to peruse them and answer any questions that you have or make other videos that could potentially give you more insight as well so i will see you guys in the next video goodbye Thank you all so much for watching, as always. If you're interested in eye surgeries, cataract surgeries, and the APAMSA conference, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because that is what will be coming up next. There's also a lot more med school content coming up, so keep an eye out for that, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! Mwah.